Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. If you look at my title, it's called Witchcraft, the Spirit of Greed. I am continuing this saga about witchcraft. Point blank in the story. This is where God got me right now because there's so much is going on. I think people are actually blinded by it, but that's okay. We're going to try to make you see. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So the first thing I want to do is read some scriptures, okay? That's what you see on the screen. It says, Ecclesiastics 5.10. He that loveth silver should not be satisfied with silver silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. Also first Timothy six and nine says, but they that would be rich fall into temptation. Y'all know that's true. And a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Is that not true? What's drown men in destruction and perdition. Oh my God. That is so true. You guys scripture is real. Number three, Luke 10, Luke 12, 15 says, and he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of you know how people are. All right, let me continue. Go to the next scripture. Uh, first Timothy six and 10, it says for the love of money is the root of all evil, which some have coveted after they have erred from though with many sorrows. You know, this one is very powerful. I see so many people that fall, um, let, let's just say they could be stars. They could be people that, you know, isn't it funny how they're on top and all of a sudden something happens. It's not that, okay. If you really look at it, notice what it says again, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. You got to understand what that means. I'm going to keep it going. Um, the next one is Mark. 836 it says for what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose 1920 says lay not for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doeth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt and where thieves do not break nor nor steal praise god all right let me continue all right. Proverbs 13, 11 says, wealth gotten by vanity should be diminished. Notice what it says. But he that gathered by labor should increase. Oh, hallelujah. All right. Proverbs 21, 26 says, he coveted greedily all the day long, but the righteous give it and spare not. Y'all know that's true. Proverbs 23, 4, it says, labor not to be rich. Cease from thy own wisdom. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. It says, as he come for Ecclesiastics 5 says, as he come forth of his mother's womb, naked should he return to go as he came and should take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his land, in his hand. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going somewhere with this. I have to do the scriptures first. Psalm 119 says, incline my heart into thy testimonies and not to covetousness. That's Psalm 119, 36. Matthew 6, 24 says, no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon and mammon means the devil. All right. Colossians 3, 5 says, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection. Y'all know what that means. Um, <laughs> same sex, whatever. Evil, conspicuous, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And that was Colossians 3, 5. All right. All right. This last one says... Know ye not, in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, but be... Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulteries, nor adulterers, nor infinite, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor relevants, nor extortionists, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Praise God. And that was the word of God. I'm going to go ahead and just get into the lesson. What God was saying is that when you have a spirit of greed, now we do know that one spirit is not just working, right? So we're talking about witchcraft, the spirit of greed. Let me tell you how greed, I mean, man, this subject can go for, it can go for a long time just to be honest with you. But let me tell you the spirits that work with greed, selfishness, hate, lying, anger, rage, pride, control, manipulation, which is all witchcraft. Now, you know how they have those things. I'm going to do me. Do you come on somebody. It's like your program not to care about the other people. You remember back in the day when people actually cared about people. Now we're programmed because that's a spirit of greed. I'm going to break that thing down. Commercials. Don't they show you that big burger from Burger King and everything else? Why do you think America is the most 
obese country. Come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere. They have programmed us to want more, to need more. Y'all ain't ready. And to be honest with you, and I'm going to walk this thing out. Have you ever wanted something so bad? It could be a car. It could be a job or whatever. And soon after you get it, you'll be like, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm on to the next thing. I'm not excited anymore. That is a spirit of greed. The spirit of greed ev- wants everything. The spirit of greed will commit adultery. The spirit of greed will have sex with n- numerous of people. The spirit of greed is not just about food. And guess what? You, it's, it's a need to feed. Come on, somebody. How do you? I'm saying something. It's a need to feed whatever that greed is. Oh, I'm going somewhere. It could be an addiction, an addiction of food, addiction of alcohol, addiction of sex, a, addiction of porno, pornography. Do you understand how, how, how witchcrafty that is? And, and what are they doing? Now, I'm going somewhere. All in the neighborhoods. All right. I'm, I'm saying in the neighborhoods. Y'all know what neighborhoods. Isn't there a, a liquor store in every corner? Y'all ain't ready for me. Everything has been programmed for you to have to feed a need, and it's called greed. More money. How many of y'all work in two or three jobs? Come on, somebody. How do you walk with me? That's a spirit of witchcraft. You you so tired, but yet you'll work them jobs just to say you have more than enough. Now, let me tell you how crazy that it is. Don't the more that you have, don't isn't that the more that you spend, the more bills you make? It's like, man, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on here? Shouldn't you be saving? Y'all ain't ready for me. Credit card debt, all of that is greed. I gotta have more. Now let me ask you something. Why do you why do you need to have more? Oh, I, I get it. So you can show your boy, your girl, oh, I got it going on. Oh, come to my house. See what's going on what is it if you don't get to enjoy it come on somebody hallelujah i know let me tell you something and i'm just gonna be very transparent where i live right now uh is a very wealthy place all right and I'm I'm going in the neighborhood from time to time people are barely home here point blank in the story and i say to myself now they got these big houses i'm talking about five bedroom homes y'all ain't ready for me some some more than that and I'm like, they're never home. Now, they're home on the weekend, so they get to enjoy it on the weekend. But during the weekday, you, you know how you leave your light on, let nobody, let everybody know you're not home. I'm going somewhere with this. God says, count the cost. Count the cost of spending time with your family. There's a spirit of greed, which is witchcraft. It starts with the television. Y'all don't hear me now. Come on, somebody, walk with me. The commercials, it shows you how you should live, what you should live, what you should want, what you should eat, what you should wear, what you should drive. Y'all ain't ready for me it's a spirit of greed and they feed it they feed it every time you look at television you know i told y'all i stopped looking at television i I monitor i have stuff downloaded on my pc what i I monitor what i watch because they're not gonna get me i'm sorry because i'm gonna be honest with you and i know what i'm talking about i remember when i was young i had to have this i had to have um name brand things now it don't matter to me just to be honest with you long as i look decent and clean i really don't care y'all ain't ready for me up in here the spirit of greed, it will have you lying, stealing, robbing. Y'all ain't ready for me. These are spirits of witchcraft. Why do you think it's so much drugs out there and these kids are killing each other? It's because guess what? I got to have more. And by any means necessary, there's a spirit of greed. Do not want to share anymore. Come on, somebody. I'm, I'm getting ready to go here. Y'all notice how many homeless people we have? Where are their families? Come on, somebody. I'm talking about older people, too. It breaks my heart when I see older people in a, a person in a wheelchair that's homeless. You mean to tell me that none of their family members want to take them in? I'm going to tell you right now, because guess what? I got to take care of mine. I got to take care of me. I, that spirit of greed. And I'm telling you, God says that the Bible says you are less than an infidel if you don't take care of your family. Come on, somebody. Yeah, I know I'm going to hit somebody. I don't care. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because this is what's happening. God is trying to get people to have the sensitive spirit again to to love, to care, to share, to say thank you, to say you're welcome, to say I'm sorry, to say I love you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. These spirits are overtaking the children of God, the people of God, and the world. Because guess what? If I can get you to be greedy, then you will not operate in the gifts of the spirit. You will operate in hate, anger, selfishness, pride. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going to go here. Do you remember when we used to all go to church back in the day and we were just happy to see how many people would bring how many people? Now, if a person really needs to go to church, you got some gas money? Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Let somebody need something. 
You do not give it from the heart. When I'm going to get my money back. So many people are killing each other. But where's my money? Where's my money? When the Bible says that if you give it to them, don't even expect it back because they may not be able to give it back to you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But we're talking about witchcraft. It's all witchcraft. Anything to get you out of the character. There it is right there. Anything that gets you out of your character is a spirit of greed. And that's why I, I'm going to start with myself being transparent. Y'all know I'm a chef. Y'all know I used to love to eat. Notice what I said. Used to. I Y'all haven't really seen me. Seen me per se. I've lost a lot of weight and I'm continuing. So ain't nothing wrong with me. I, I, I'm, I'm losing this weight. First, foremost, and for sure this time. Because number one, life is a balance. God doesn't want any spirit that can overtake you. Because if it overtakes you in one area of your life, I guarantee you there are other spirits working with it to overtake you in other areas of your life. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. How can I be an effective leader if I don't practice what I preach? Come on somebody, hallelujah. We're talking about the spirit of greed. We're talking about witchcraft here. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It's time for everybody to return to a balanced life. By, 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 you gotta, you gotta do a, um, you gotta do some kind of affirmation every day. God, I want to be who you've called me to be, but God, let me check everything in my life. And if it's not of you, father, God, teach me how to deal with that thing. I don't want to have a greedy spirit because if I have a greedy spirit, then I have other spirits that are working. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Why do y'all think people are doing what they're doing? We're talking about so much violence and crime because guess what? When people don't have, well, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. That's a spirit of greed, which is a spirit of witchcraft. Now, let me ask you something. Who is telling people to rob, steal, and kill? Y'all hear what I'm saying? But wait a minute. When I look at Netflix, I see so many devilish movies. As a matter of fact, not just Netflix. We're talking about television. Television is a programming of the mind. Come on, somebody. Now, we're going to talk about this stuff for real. You start looking at that stuff. You start wanting to become it. You start thinking it. I'm talking about the sex that's in it. I'm talking about the drugs that's in it. I'm talking about the alcohol the smoking, everything that's not of God. That's why you have to ask God, oh, Father God, help me with my character so I can do what you have called me to do. The enemy is coming in through the television. He's coming into your ears. That's why you have to w watch what kind of music. All of this is tied to the spirit of greed. Don't you understand? The enemy is after you by any means necessary. And he's not playing, by the way. And here's how he does it with temptation. I will let your eyes see something that you want. It could be a woman. It could be a man. It could be a job. It could be money. And it could be something that is not yours. I want it by any means necessary. It's called the spirit of greed. And that's what these kids are learning. That's why they're doing what they're doing. I read a story where... This guy, he this happened a month ago. He killed his parents and took a trip to Mexico. Now, you know why he killed his parents? Because they wouldn't give him the money to go to Mexico. So, I'm going to go ahead and I, I'm, I'm so greedy and I don't care. I'm going to kill. Can you eat? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. He killed his parents. Now, y'all know they arrested him in Mexico. Now, let me ask you something. What do you think is going on in his mind right now? Because he, he's incarcerated. I bet you he... I mean, just the thought of what he did. But at that moment, that spirit of greed, I got to have it. I got to have it. That is a spirit of witchcraft that make people do and say things that is not of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. So I, I really, I, I got to go because I have class tonight, but I, I just wanted to touch base. I'm going to do a part two of this one because it is, it, this is what God was saying. It's called the highest level of programming. We are being brainwashed. We have always been brainwashed. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. From the system to go to school, to you, to the 12th grade, to go to college, to get in debt, to come on, have the American dream, which really is a nightmare. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. They put so much applied pressure into now people. Well, I got to go out for a drink. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That's how it starts. Well, I got to go to the casinos. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It's like from one extreme to the next. Feeding, 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 always feeding. Let me tell you what feeds the needs. Spirits. Spirits are always trying to get you to do something contrary to the spirit of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand what I got up on here to say because witchcraft is real. That's what they're operating in this season like never before. That's why God has me on it. So I will come back uh, maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow, but I will finish this up. I just want to really get it out. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.